Hey everybody, so I got some packages in from Limited Run Games, everybody's favorite limited run gaming company. They make limited editions, they say they'll never make them, but people always find a way to reprint them. Uh, anyways, this is the collector's edition blind boxes I bought into. I got two, and uh, I started opening the box, so that's why you'll see the tape is torn. Um, pretty much went ahead and opened it, looked at it, and uh, I was like, wait, I need to do a video so people can see uh, what you'll get with these guys uh, if you ordered your blind box for the limited run 2022 uh, blowout sale uh, collector's editions. One PS4 collector's edition, one Switch collector's edition. So, let's see what we got. So, like I said, I did open it already and just peeked inside, but uh, basically a reenactment of what went on. So, never have I seen a box packaged so well from Limited Run Games. Uh, I was going to show you. There was some damage to the box right here. Looks like it was smashed slightly, but not bad. So, anyways, open it up. Look at this. Bubble wrap. They never do this. So, anyways, bubble wrap, bubble wrap. This is the first thing I see when I open it up. Right. This guy. I'm like, wait a minute, that can't be. And sure enough, this is the $65 plus shipping Nintendo Switch Collector's Edition they send me. This is an Amazon distro title. This is not an exclusive limited run games. You can buy this on any street corner. And on Amazon recently, I think it was like 20 bucks. So, freaking sucks. Uh, I heard good things about the game. I heard it's cool and all. But, uh, I'm paying 65 bucks. I don't want a distro title. I want a freaking discontinued limited run games freaking awesome collector's edition not this garbage but this is what they sent me signs looks to be in good condition sealed and you know I looked up the prices it's like yeah 35 bucks on eBay and that's scalper prices so you know it's really only worth like 20 25 I was freaking pissed can't believe it. So, one wrapped in plastic. I mean, bubble wrap. It's awesome. No bubble wrap. And then I'm like, hey, a freaking bent, ugly, Dios Divine or whatever it is, I guess. Freaking card. Look at how bent that thing is. It's not a gold, it's just a silver. Basic, boring card. I think it's a. Uh, Second edition or whatever. Eh, that sucks. That's all I know. Uh, let's see, you can see. Divine. As Divine. That's what it was. As Divine Menace. How about ass sucking? Get that out of here. But then, as we dug further into the box. I was like, wait, what's this? That's pretty big for PS4. And as you can guess, you know, I was no longer freaking ticked off that they sent me a freaking distro title for the Switch. I mean, I kind of was, but still. This guy right here, the Precursor, Precursor Legacy. It's like a bookshelf title. This box out. This thing's freaking huge. It's supposed to go on the shelf, but that is an ugly scene. But little dings on it. On the bottom, there's a couple scuffs. Nothing major there, but and we got the back. There is that one little spot where they have a. Uh, some plastic torn. I 
which is uh, not ideal, but this guy has a good haul from the blind box. And then a couple little dings. We're talking $500 CE right here. And up, depending where. So, that's pretty nice. Pretty disappointed with that card. Anyways, that's limited run games. Blind box, collector's edition pool. I only ordered two. I don't really have a lot of money this year to spend. I just spent some on the uh, super rare blind boxes, but still haven't gotten those after almost eight weeks because of the Royal Mail strikes. And then they got hacked. That says they're still waiting on items, so I have no idea if it's even a ton. I'll probably have to just dispute the charge and then count my losses. I never get my super rare blind box ever. If I do, I'll definitely make a video on it. But, anyways, not bad. Uh, $65 for each collector's editions I put in, total $120. Uh, and then I got a value of a uh, what, one dollar for that card because it's bent and it might be worthless. Uh, Thirty dollars for the Nintendo Switch value, and then that Jack uh, precursor. We're talking five hundred ish. So yeah, not bad. Good haul. Anyways, hope you guys liked it. Stay in touch. Make sure to subscribe and like. So I can make some more videos for you guys. Hopefully update my video equipment one day. Promise I will. But right now the money's just not uh, going to that. It's going towards more games. Kind of a hoarder with the games. So next video will be opening limited run games. May 20th. 2022 super bundle or mega bundle uh, so just short of a year it finally got here today we're gonna open that up and see if it actually showed up 100% because I've been hearing people not getting their cards just like this last one I was supposed to get a card with each collector's edition or a printing plate printing plate and uh, they sent me one big card uh, contacted them via email and they said that they will send me another item so they didn't say if they give me another card I'm pretty sure she's gonna be another crap card that's worthless and bent and returned uh, anyways yep, next video we're gonna be opening the May 20th mega bundle of carnage it's supposed to be some Shantae some Jack and Daxter some uh, Scott Pilgrim, Swordsman VR, little toy car, full set of cards, and a guaranteed gold. I've been waiting on a guaranteed gold. I've been ordering from Limited Run Games for now uh, four or five years and uh, have yet to get a gold card. Uh, so that's the only way I had to do it was uh, get a guaranteed package. Uh, yeah, tune in for next time. Have a good day. Bye.